Hello everyone! Now the easiest way to make a big shirt fit is to belt it, but it's not the only way. Today we're going to cinch in a big shirt six different ways, so let's get started. For this video you will need a big shirt, an elastic, sharp scissors, a ruler, and something to mark your clothing with. We'll start with out cutting. For this technique you will need an elastic. Put your shirt on inside out and pull in a section of fabric at your waist on the side. Tie the elastic around the fabric. Now put your shirt back on the right way. This looks nice in the back as well. The second technique has minimal cutting. Lay your shirt down flat and make sure the bottom hem lines up front and back. Then cut across the bottom of the shirt just under the thread. Pull these pieces apart and stretch them. Now tie the pieces together at the ends to make one long string and trim the ends of the knot. Put your shirt back on, take your string and tie it around your waist like a belt. The third technique requires something to mark your clothing with and scissors. Put your shirt on inside out and mark your waist on both sides. Now, just like the last time, lay your shirt down flat with the hems lined up and cut across the bottom just under the thread. Pull these pieces apart and stretch them. Now tie the pieces together at the ends to make one long string and trim the ends of the knot. Lay your shirt down flat and cut a small hole at the side where your waist mark is. Cut through both layers of fabric and then repeat on the other side. Turn your shirt back inside in and lay it down back side up. Grab your string and thread one end through one set of holes. Then thread the other end through the other set so that the knot is in the center. Put your shirt on and tie the string together in the back with a bow. The fourth technique requires a little more cutting and a ruler. Just like the last one, put your shirt on inside out and mark your waist on both sides. Lay your shirt down flat with the hems lined up and cut across the bottom just under the thread. Pull these pieces apart and stretch them. Now tie the pieces together at the ends to make one long string and trim the ends of the knot. Lay your shirt down flat, still inside out, and draw a line across the waist. Now starting with two dots in the center, make evenly spaced dots in pairs across the waistline. Flip the shirt over and repeat on the back. Now cutting through one layer at a time, cut small holes on all your dots. Turn your shirt back inside in and starting at one of the front center holes, start threading the string in and out of the holes. Continue all the way around until it comes out the front center again. Put your shirt back on and tie the strings together in the front in a bow. The last technique is a little more complicated, but worth it. Put your shirt on inside out and pull the fabric tight at the waist in the back. Hold the fabric in the center with your fingers and make a mark on each side. Lay your shirt down flat, back side up, still inside out, and grab your ruler. 
draw a small vertical line at one of the marks, then a parallel one at the other mark. Put the lines closer together by folding the shirt and start making sets of dots, one on each side of the line. About an inch above that, make another set. Then make two more. Repeat on the other line. Now, cutting through one layer of fabric, cut holes in all the dots. Turn your shirt back inside in and lay it down flat, back up. Trim off the bottom of the shirt just under the hem. Pull these pieces apart and stretch them, then tie the ends together and trim the ends of the knot. Now, starting at an inner bottom hole, weave one end of the string in then out the outer hole. Do the same on the other side with the other end of string. Grab the strings, cross them over each other, and continue to lace up the shirt like a pair of shoes. Put your shirt back on and pull each end of the string to tighten. Then tie them in a bow. And that's it! Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know and check out my other social medias, all at Anorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here or watch another video right over here.